Remember what I said earlier about using the paddle to help stable yourself in the canoe? This is a time when it really can work. You can use the paddle to lean down like this, and I feel pretty solid because of the paddle. Step in the center, bring it forward, step in the center, and then I'm good, and I'm on shore. All right. Quick little tip, and it only ever happened once to me, but bring a canoe up onto the shore, go check out the campsite, it looks beautiful, you come back, and the canoe has slipped off the shore and gone down the river. So always make sure that you keep your canoe nicely secured when you go to explore a campsite. Okay, this is beautiful. You can see from the fire pit, it's an established campsite. And I've got no problems with that at all. The ground is already cleared. There's great flat sites for my tent. If you keep coming to the same campsite year after year, you do tend to degrade that area. The reality is if you go and make new ones, then you're, you're spreading it out. So a lot of the provincial parks will, will close down a campground after a while when it's become too degraded and let it regrow and open up a new one somewhere else. But you want to stick to the established campgrounds wherever you go. And you're rewarded with having a fire pit. And hopefully the people before you have been very clean and had the good practice of leaving some kindling or some firewood ready for when you arrive. There are a lot of variables to what campsite to pick and where you want to be. If you're in a windy location, it's great for a time like this because it helps to keep the bugs down. If a storm kicks up though, now you're super exposed and that's a problem. I'm not a big fan of camping on the sand because the sand stays with you for the rest of the trip. So I like to be on rock, especially high and dry rock like this. Camping beside rapids and waterfalls, absolutely stunning scenery. But a lot of people can't sleep beside them because they're so loud. So there are a lot of variables in campsites. This one is beautiful. And it's time for me to chill out. One of the best and easiest investments I ever made for canoe camping was this little chair. These are awesome. If there's anything that I make sure I always bring with me on a canoe trip, it's this little folding chair. With just a few simple tips, we've been able to get the canoe and secure it properly on the roof of a vehicle. We've loaded it properly and got into the water, come out to this gorgeous campsite. There's a lot more to know about wilderness camping, but on the other hand, it's also a very simple pursuit. One thing is for sure, if you do things wrong, well, it can be a nightmare. If you do it right, it'll be one of the best things you ever do in your life. Look at it out here, this is perfect. <laughs>